hello everyone you're welcome quickly let's see how we are going to solve this uh, beautiful algebra problem so we are giving k to the power of 6 equals 2 to the power of 6 so now what will be the value of k so now from here i'm going to rewrite this equation as having k k to the power of 3 or to the power of 2 then I will transpose this 2 to the power of 6 to this side. We're going to have 2 to the power of 3. All right, then to the power of 2 equals 0. So now from here, so now I have this. This is a difference of two squares. So we have 2 here, we have 2 here. So you recall when you have a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2, you know this will give us a minus b and a plus b. Do you understand? That is the left hand side. So now from here, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to what we're going to write this left hand side in this what in this form. So this is going to be k to the power of three, okay, minus two to the power of three. Then we have k to the power of three plus two to the power of three. Then everything equals zeros. So now from here, so I'd like you to recall again. Recall, okay, if you have a to the power of three minus b to the power of three. This will give us a minus b, then a squared, then we have plus a b, then plus what? b squared. So whenever you have this, this is difference of two cubes. Then also if you have what? If you have sum of two cubes like this, so this one is going to give us a plus b into bracket. We have a squared minus a b, then plus b squared. So now this is what we're going to have. Now, when you look at this, we have where you can see that this is taking the form of the first one and this is taking the form of the second one. So now let me write it like this. So here, this is going to be k minus 2 because we are going to write it in this form. We have k squared, right? Then I will multiply this and this together. I have plus 2k. Okay, then square the last term, which is 4. Then I will go with the second one. I'm going to have in k plus 2. Okay, then uh, we're going to have k squared going with this minus 2k, then plus 4, all equals 0. And that's all. So now from there, so the next thing we're going to do now, you can see that this is like zero form equation. So from here, we are going to have case how many cases do we have here we have case one case two case three case four because k minus two will be equal zero here which implies that we have k one to be now we transpose these two to this side we're going to have two so we have the first solution okay to be what to be two now we move on let me pick this one here which is k plus two k plus two equals zero so we're going to see we are going to have what we're going to have uh, k equals that is k2 equals minus 2 so now we have this so the next one is that i've picking this i've picking this those are the ones that will give us real solutions we have real solutions here yeah? now let me pick the third case this is case one case one case two okay now let's look at case three case three the case 3 is when you have k squared plus 2k plus 4 equals 0. So now how are you going to solve this? Okay, so we need to solve this one uh, completely. So now to solve this, I'm going to be using uh, completing the square method. So now here, so I want to use completing the square method. So what I'm going to do here is that I have k squared. I have what? I have k squared plus 2k so now i want you let this plus 4 let us put it here make it far from this so now from here let's take the half of the coefficient of k you know the half is going to be 2 over 2 and we are going to have uh, then square it 2 divided by 2 we're going to have 1 square it so now if you square it, you can see we have 1 square which shows that this is what this is what we are going to add to this that will make it what that will make it a perfect square so we're going to add one squared one squared which is same thing as one so now don't do don't forget that if you now add if you had this one here so 
according to completing the square method you must subtract one from it now we're going to have what so now from there this inside the parentheses is same thing as having k right plus one all square because this is now a perfect square do you understand and the perfect square is going to be in this form so now if you try to expand this k plus one up to the power of two so you must have this okay then here minus one plus four we're going to have what we're going to have plus three then equals zero so now from there we have k plus one all squared then we transpose this three to the other side we're going to have minus three so now you square root to both sides plus or minus okay plus or minus so now from there we're going to have this canceling this we have k plus one equals then we have plus or minus root minus one multiplied by root three so now here we're going to have k equals this one will come here we're going to have minus and plus or minus root this root minus one is going to be i then we have root three so that is from complex plane we have k to be minus one plus or minus i root three so now from there so we are going to be having k three to be minus one plus i root three that is the k3 and k4 is going to be minus one minus i root three do you understand now so let's pick case four so case four is k squared from what we have from if you go back to the beginning so we can see that we have case four case four is k square minus 2k then plus 4 equals 0 so now here let's solve this one completely so to solve this one so i'm going to have in k square right minus 2k now place this for here equals 0 let me make this completely so what will i be added to this place to make this uh, a complete square perfect square so therefore we're going to take the coefficient of half of the coefficient of k which is 2 divided by 2 going to see we have one so we square it so definitely we are going to add one square to this then when you add one square to this so you must subtract one or one square from because you add and you subtract do you understand so now from there you're going to have k squared right uh minus 2k then plus one minus one minus one plus four that's going to give us minus three then equals zero are you following so from there so this is not a perfect square so the perfect square so this can be written as k minus one all to the power of two so if you try to expand this it must give you this back are you getting it so which is equals what which is equals to we transfer this to this side don't have what don't have three so now from here the next thing we're going to do is that so let me jump to this place because this is where we are putting our, our values so now so let me jump to this place here okay from here so we're going to have k minus one all squared you try to take the square root of both sides equals three plus or minus but here we having for we are having plus three okay so coming, coming to this side, we're going to be minus. So it is minus we have a, do you understand? So the, we're going to have a square. This, we cancel this. We have k minus 1 equals, uh, this is going to be plus or minus root minus 1 dot root 3. So now we're going to have k equals 1 plus or minus i root 3. So from here, you can see we are going to be having two values here. So we have a k, k5. To be equals picking the positive one plus i root three okay then we have the k6 to be one minus i root three so now those are the possible you know solutions to the problem you are giving if you enjoy this class please kindly share to your friends so they can learn from it you are just watching for the first time consider subscribing hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified 
anytime you upload a new content thank you so much for watching bye bye